Hi guys, in this video I want to look at three types of switching circuits commonly found in electrical lighting. That are one way switching circuit, two way switching circuit and lastly intermediate switching circuit. Let us start with the one way switching circuit. A one way switching circuit is a type in which lamps are switched from one location, typically in areas like offices and rooms with one entrance. A one way switching circuit consists of one or more lamps connected to a one way switch. A one-way switch has two terminals. One terminal is for the live wire from the supply and the other terminal is for the live wire going to the lamp from the switch. In a one-way switching circuit, the live conductor from the distribution board or supply is connected to the switch. After the switch, the live conductor is connected to the lamp. The neutral wire from the supply goes directly to the lamp. In this circuit, if the switch is in the on position, the lamp illuminates. If the switch is in the off position, the lamp is not illuminated. Now that you understand a one-way switching circuit, let us move on to a two-way switching circuit. A two-way switching circuit is a light switching circuit in which a lamp or lamps are controlled from two different locations. This type of light switching circuit is used to control lamps in places such as stairways, corridors, and rooms with two entrances. The two-way switching circuit has two two-way switches. A two-way switch has three terminals. One terminal is labeled L1, the other is labeled L2, and the last is labeled common. The common is the terminal where the live wire from the supply is connected, or the live wire going to the lamp from the switch is connected. To wire the two-way switching circuit, we need two two-way switches. First, connect the live wire from the supply to the common terminal of one switch. Second, connect the live wire going to the lamp to the common terminal of the other switch. Then connect the terminals L1 of the two switches together and the terminals L2 of the two switches together. The neutral wire from the supply is connected directly to the lamp. In this light switching circuit, the lamp illuminates if the selectors of the two switches are pointing to the same terminals. Let us say, or are pointing to terminals labeled L1, the lamp illuminates. If the selectors of the two switches are pointing to different terminals, let us say, one is pointing to terminal labeled L1 and the other is pointing to terminal labeled L2, the lamp will not be illuminated. Let us look at the third light switching circuit called the intermediate switching circuit. An intermediate switching circuit is a light switching circuit in which a lamp or lamps are controlled from three or more different locations. This type of lighting switching circuit is used to control lamps in places such as long corridors, stairways and rooms with more than two entrances. An intermediate switching circuit consists of two two-way switches and one or more intermediate switches. In this video, we are looking at an intermediate switching circuit used to control lamps from three different locations that requires a one intermediate switch. An intermediate switch has four terminals that are usually numbered 1 to 4 in which when the switch is operated, terminals 1 and 2 are connected to terminals 3 and 4 respectively, or terminals 1 and 2 are connected to terminals 4 and 3 respectively. To wire an intermediate switching circuit, you simply add an intermediate switch between the two two-way switches. Then connect the terminals labeled A1 of the two-way switches to the terminals labeled 1 and 3 of an intermediate switch and the terminals labeled L2 of the two-way switches to terminals labeled 2 and 4 of an intermediate switch. In an intermediate switching circuit, for the lamp to be illuminated, one path must be complete, starting from the common terminal of the first switch, going through the intermediate switch, up to the common terminal of the other two-way switch. If there is no a complete path, the lamp will not be illuminated. We have another light switching circuit called the selective switching circuit, which is used to provide two levels of lighting in certain circumstances. A selective switching circuit consists of a one-way switch and a two-way switch. To wire a selective switching circuit, the live wire from the supply is connected to the one-way switch. From the one-way switch, the live conductor goes to the common terminal of the two-way switch. One lamp is connected to the terminal L1 of the two-way switch and the other lamp is connected to the terminal L2 of the two-way switch. 
the neutral wires from the supply are directly connected to the two lamps. In a selective switching circuit, when the one-way switch is in the off position, none of the lamps are illuminated. If the one-way switch is in the on position, one lamp will illuminate depending on the position of the selector of the two-way switch. In electrical switches, we often come across terms like single pole switch, double pole switch, one gang switch, two gang switch, and more. We have already looked at a one way switch, two way switch, and an intermediate switch. Switches found in domestic installations are contained within a plate. When a plate contains one or more separate switches, for example, this plate contains a one way switch and a two way switch, we call this a two gang plate switch. The term gang is associated with how many separate switches are on the plate. The term pole is usually associated with how many electrical conducts, the one-way switch, the two-way switch, and the intermediate switches. For example, this one-way switch is a single pole switch, because when operated, only one conduct is opened or closed. Another one-way switch here is a double pole switch, because when operated, its two conducts are opened or closed at the same time. In the comment section below, tell me the correct full name given to this switch. Okay guys, this is what we have in this video. I hope you enjoyed it. See you in our next videos.